in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this using the Stardust plugin from Superluminal TV. I also use some Red Giant Universe plugins and one Globe plugin called Deep Glow from Plugin Everything. Let's get started. So let's create a new composition and then we create a new solid. Let's call it Stardust Mask. Create a square mask and you can scale it down like this. Then create another solid, make it comp size. And then we're going to add the Stardust plugin. Hide the mask layer, change the emitter type to text mask, change the emit type to edge weighted. Then in the layer properties, select your layer with the mask. Skip ahead in the timeline to see the particles and change the particles per second to 750. And we don't want the particles to be moving, so we're going to change the speed to zero. And let's change the Z size of the emitter to 1000. And then let's set the path subdivide to 10 for now. It's going to subdivide the mask path so the pixels are lined up nicely. And then let's make these particles a bit smaller. Go to particle properties and change the size to 2. Let's increase the size random, the opacity random as well to 50, and the life random to 100. And we want particles from the first frame, so we're going to change the time offset to our frame rate multiplied by 2. Now in the Stardust panel, we're going to create a replica node and link it to our particle node. I'm going to change the scale X and scale Y to 200 and the angle Z to 90. So every time it's going to replicate, it's going to turn 90 degrees. Let's turn the replicates to 2. Then create another replica node, link it to the previous replica node, and we're going to offset the Z to the same as our emitter size Z, 1000. So it's going to link up nice. And then replicate it, say, 30 times. But we see too much repetition, so we're going to change the angle Z to 90 again. Then let's duplicate the first two nodes, the emitter and particle. In the new emitter, change particles per second to 1000 and reduce the size C to 10. So we get a nice little line. Then go into the pad properties and change the speed along pad to 5 and the speed randomness to 100. So it's going to be moving a little bit and change the pad subdivide to 0. Now in our particle 2 node, let's make them a bit smaller and change the size to 1. Now we can easily link this new emitter and particle to our existing replica node, like this. Now let's create a new camera with depth of field. I created one with a shallow depth of field. And then we're going to animate it, change the camera position to zero, and make a keyframe. And then at the end of the composition, another keyframe to 10,000. And now I want to go back and change a few things. Let's increase the particles per second to 1000. So you can play around with these settings as much as you want. And then change the path subdivide to 20. And now you should have something that looks like this. Essentially you're creating just one segment of a tunnel and then replicating it. Now let's add some color. I created this color map composition already. It's just two solids and an adjustment layer. It's some colored fractal noise with the evolution animated, an adjustment layer with posterized time, so it's a little bit choppy. So let's bring that into our main composition and hide it. And we're going to use this composition to map onto our tunnel. So we're going to create a field node and link it to our replica node. And then in the field settings, change the field type to maps, change the map type to layer, then select our color map. And now we're going to tell it to affect the color and we're going to project it to the UV. Now let's add a sharpen filter and set it to about 30. It's going to make the smaller particles pop a bit more. And then we're going to add a deep glow effect. You can use other glows as well. Then you can go to exposure and bring that down to 0.5. 
and reduce the radius to 100. Now let's create a background, create a new solid, drag it to the bottom, and then add a gradient ramp. Now I'm going to choose a dark blue, and for the other color, almost black. And then set the ramp shape to radial, and drag the lighter color to the center, and the other color to the corner. Then set your stardust layer to screen, so it's going to blend better with the background. And then we're going to create a new square shape layer in the center. And we're going to add a Gaussian blur to 10, because it's all the way at the back where the camera is not sharp. And then we're going to add another deep glow as well. Maybe we can scale the shape layer a bit more. Now let's create an adjustment layer and add the chromatic aberration effect from Red Giant Universe and set the master distortion to 0 0.1. Go into blur and change the radial blur to 2. And then the edge radius to 1100. Now let's add some grain. This is another plugin from Red Giant Universe. Increase the grain opacity to 160 and then blend mode to overlay. And now you should have something that looks like this. Here are just some examples of changing the color map and the mask shape. 